Let's go Falcons! The Falcons ended the bye week at 6-5, holding a 1.5 game lead in the NFC South. The path to the playoffs is clear, but that doesn't mean everything has gone smoothly. While the team has met some expectations, there have been several disappointments along the way. Let's explore some of the most disappointing stories of the season thus far. Before we dive into today's deep dive, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Staying up to date with the latest news and analysis is essential as the Falcons prepare for a critical stretch. Let's get started. One of the biggest concerns is Matt Juden's performance. When the Falcons traded for the four-time Pro Bowler in August, fans expected him to provide stability and production for the pass rush. Juden arrived with a strong resume, including 32 sacks in his last 38 games. Unfortunately, his impact has been minimal. With just 2.5 sacks in 11 games, Juden is far below expectations. He hasn't recorded a sack since week three and has struggled to make a difference on the field. For a player with his pedigree, the lack of production is surprising and frustrating, especially for a team that has long struggled with pass pressure issues. Another area of concern has been the lack of creativity in the defensive blitz packages. During training camp and joint practices, the Falcons showcased a variety of innovative schemes that generated excitement. However, those concepts didn't translate into consistent success during the regular season. The defense has struggled to create pressure, and opposing offenses have adjusted to their simulated looks. With two experienced defensive minds in Raheem Morris and Jimmy Lake, this drop in effectiveness is disappointing. The unit needs to find ways to reignite its pass pressure and maximize its potential moving forward. The rookie class has also been disappointing. When the Falcons drafted Michael Penix Jr. with the 8th overall pick, the expectation was that he would be the team's quarterback of the future. However, Penix has only seen action in garbage time. Other rookies have had little to no impact. Rook Ororo started slowly, contributed briefly, and then landed on injured reserve. Brandon Dorless didn't make his debut until week 11. Brolin Trice tore his ACL in the preseason. Zion Logue didn't make the roster, and J.D. Bertrand, the most productive rookie, has been limited to special teams and occasional defensive snaps. While Penix's future looks bright, this rookie class has done little to help the Falcons in the present. The offense is also facing challenges, with Kirk Cousins the center of the conversation. Over the past two games, the Falcons' offense has scored just two touchdowns and 23 points. Cousins, while a veteran presence, has struggled with turnovers, mobility, and costly mistakes. Meanwhile, Michael Penix Jr. offers intriguing potential with his mobility and playmaking ability. His ability to extend plays and move the pocket could inject life into an offense that has seemed stagnant. While it's not yet time to make a trade, the pressure is mounting for Cousins to perform well. If the offense doesn't improve after the break, a change could be on the horizon. The Falcons are in a strong position to clinch their first playoff berth in six years, but the margin for error is slim. With the Buccaneers still in the mix, the team must address its weaknesses quickly. Whether that means finding ways to revive pass pressure, tweaking defensive schemes, or even considering a quarterback change, the Falcons need to make decisive moves to capitalize on their position. What do you think, Falcons fans? Is Matt Juden's performance the biggest disappointment? Should the team give Michael Penix Jr. a chance? How do you feel about the rookie class so far? It's no surprise that the Atlanta Falcons are falling in the NFL's power rankings. After starting the season strong, the team has stumbled and now finds itself questioned on every level. A sloppy performance against the Saints and an embarrassment in Denver have pushed the Falcons into the bottom half of the rankings. According to NFL.com, the Falcons are now ranked 17th. Some might say that's generous, considering the Rams, Bengals, and Colts, all of whom have played better football lately, are ranked below Atlanta. To make matters worse, the Bucks, 49ers, and Seahawks, none of whom currently have a playoff berth, are all ranked higher. This drop reflects more than just recent performances, it highlights Atlanta's troubling history. Let's be honest, the Falcons have developed a reputation for blowing golden opportunities. A lack of a consistent pass rush, coupled with an offense that has been shockingly sloppy, has turned what was once a thrilling underdog into a team that is raising questions at every level. 
The question now is whether they can turn things around with the playoffs still so close. Despite the concerns, the Falcons are still in control of their destiny. Their remaining schedule offers a mix of winnable matchups and tough tests. Games against the Raiders, Giants, and Panthers should all be wins if the team can avoid self-inflicted mistakes. On the other hand, matchups against the Chargers, Vikings, and Commanders will require the Falcons to elevate their game. Winning just three of those remaining six games will likely clinch the NFC South title in a home playoff game, a major accomplishment for a franchise that has faced its share of criticism in recent years. Looking ahead, this bye week offers a chance to recharge, but Falcons fans should keep an eye on a few key matchups. First, the Vikings face the Bears, and that's a critical one for Atlanta, as Minnesota remains one of their toughest opponents. Kirk Cousins has struggled with turnovers, and Atlanta will be watching to see if the Vikings can fix their issues or continue their shaky play. If Cousins falters, it could give the Falcons a real chance to steal a win in what is expected to be a shootout. Next up, the Bucks take on the Giants in a game that could have big implications for the NFC South race. Tampa has been written off multiple times this season, but keeps finding ways to stay in the mix. With Atlanta facing tougher opponents in the weeks ahead, the Bucks have a chance to close the gap. The Giants, now starting rookie quarterback Tommy DeVico, don't look like a real threat, but sometimes a shakeup under center can bring unexpected results. Falcons fans should be rooting for an upset here, as it would give Atlanta much-needed breathing room in the division. Finally, the Ravens and Chargers square off on Monday Night Football, giving the Falcons a prime opportunity to scout their next opponent. The Chargers, despite being in a brutally competitive AFC, are looking more dangerous each week. Justin Herbert is showing signs of improvement, and their defense has been performing better than expected. The Falcons will have the advantage of coming off a bye, while the Chargers will be on a short week. Still, Atlanta will need to bring its A-game to have a shot in what's shaping up to be a tough matchup. So, where do we go from here? The Falcons still have everything to play for, but the margin for error is razor thin. The defense must step up and find ways to generate pressure, while the offense needs to cut out the sloppy mistakes that have plagued them in recent weeks. If Atlanta can't capitalize on its favorable schedule, questions about the team's ability to compete at a high level will only grow louder. Now it's your turn, Falcons fans. Are you still confident in this team's playoff chances? Do you think the power rankings are fair, or are the Falcons being underrated? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support means the world to us, and we'll keep bringing you exclusive updates as the Falcons fight for a postseason spot. Thanks for watching, and as always, go Falcons!